Hi, I'm Stephanie. I'm the founder of Admitsy, and I'm going to walk you through a quick site demo so you know how to use the site. Let's get started. If you are not familiar with Admitsy, we're essentially a platform where accepted college students can upload their successful application materials uh, where it's all searchable and categorized in a way that's easy for a high school student or a parent to navigate. What's included in these student profiles, uh, of which you can see a selection here, these are just some of the featured ones, but I'll actually walk you through how to search for exactly what you're looking for. Um, but what's included in these profiles are anything from the quantitative elements of an application, so grades, test scores, academic performance trends, to their qualitative elements, such as their essays, uh, extracurricular activities, awards, um, and any advice the student has about either applying to college or being a student at the school that they're currently enrolled at. And what's really cool about our site is that with nearly 80,000 application files, we can actually perform some really incredible um, analytics on the data that we have on different schools and acceptance trends. So I'll actually walk you through that in a bit as well. But let's get started with our search page. So our search page allows you to drill down with any of our search filters from you know, GPA range, ACT, SAT range, um, essay topics, ethnicity, gender, home country if you're an international student, um, to more filters, including first gen status, um, international student in general, um, only showing students who enrolled in a school. So for example, when you type in a school name here, it actually shows you all the students who were accepted even if they didn't enroll at the school. So checking this will allow you to find those that were enrolled at the school or the most recent application cycle, or if you're an athlete, you can check the varsity um, sports or recruitment status. Let's go with UPenn. So here, because I included the enrolled only option, it only shows students who have enrolled at UPenn, whereas if I had excluded that option, you'll actually see a selection of profiles returned of students who were accepted to Penn but may have attended an another school. And uh, you can see with each of these snapshots, um, it shows what schools they were accepted to, as well as a kind of brief about me, about the student. Uh, let's just go with this first one here. Pen pal. So you'll see in the features included section, um, this student has shared five essays in their profile, nine pieces of advice, the results of seven schools, uh, eight extracurriculars, seven test scores, um, including AP exams or IB, um, test scores, and uh, one sport played by the student. Uh, you'll see here um, the GPA and SAT of the student, background, and here's kind of where it gets interesting. If you wanted to switch over to the other schools that he was accepted to, um, you just click on the school logo and it shows you um, the any information that he's added about that school, including school specific advice. But let's stick with Penn, um, since this is where he's enrolled. And you'll see the personal statement is tagged with a number of uh, essay topics. So you can find um, other similar types of essays. Uh, you'll see here the prompt and then a brief uh, intro of, um, or excerpt actually, of the essay that he's included. Um, once you unlock the profile, you'll actually be able to read this full essay um, where uh, here we show a word count so you know that this is the full essay. 
this student also includes his supplemental essay written um, for why he wants to attend UPenn. This is a full essay with over 600 words, and then any advice that he has. So here um, he includes a few different um, piece of, pieces of advice specific to UPenn and then general admissions advice. Um, as we scroll down, you'll see there's high school performance, test scores, um, APIB uh, classes and exams, the sports um, section looks like he was a martial arts um, participant and extracurriculars and awards. So if you unlock this profile, you'll actually see more details. Um, extracurriculars, for example, would include the number of years that he's been involved in the activity, as well as any leadership positions or awards won. Another way that you can navigate through our site is with packages. So these are curated packages of profiles that we think you would be interested in. Um, so at the top here, we have uh, class of 2023 uh, profiles that attended some top schools, Ivy League, Best of California. But as you scroll down, you'll actually see uh, school specific sections. So uh, specific schools. You can filter here by the actual schools that we've included, our favorite profiles of um, topics. This tab allows you to search by essay topic, sorry, not search, but to browse through essay topics that we've curated for you. So for example, um, this particular um, package would be of students who wrote their personal statement about questioning a belief or an idea. So common app essay prompt number three. And you can also filter by um, the essay topics that we've selected here. Experts tab just is our way of allowing our expert partners to share some of their favorite profiles uh, on our site and why they think the essays of the profiles that they include are written well. Our data insights tab is really cool in that it allows you to really get a broad view of what data we include here um, in our database. So for example, let's try, let's try Berkeley. So by searching for UC Berkeley, you'll see that um, we, in, in this particular chart, at least, uh, it includes the other schools that a typical student who applies to Berkeley would also apply to. So um, as can be expected, UCLA is kind of on par with Berkeley. Um, our scale here ranges from safety schools to more reach schools um, for those who are interested in Berkeley. Admissions chances by scores is our scattergrams, uh, our, our scatter plot uh, data chart where you can filter by students who are accepted, students who are rejected, and each of these data points uh, corresponds to a specific profile accepted from waitlist. Um, for example, you can actually walk through any of these. Uh, but if it's a bigger bubble, let's see, this one, you can actually scroll through to see who's included in this particular um, SAT versus GPA combination. Um, you can browse through a few of these other ones, but quickly I wanna show our uh, Beacon personalized analysis chart, which essentially gives you a recommendation of uh, schools that you can apply to or uh, what you can change about your candidacy, including uh, coursework, uh, test scores, as well as extracurriculars and leadership positions that will allow you to, uh, actually, let me show it from the dashboard. Um, that might be better. So it's a way for you to get a holistic evaluation of uh, what your candidacy um, is based on your current stats as a high school student. So you input you know, your current GPA, courses you're taking, extracurriculars you're currently involved in, and then we recommend a series of 
um, of things that you can do to improve your candidacy at the target schools that you're interested in. Um, that's a very quick uh, run through of what we offer here. Um, but very quickly before I drop off and end this, I just want to show you our pricing plans so you have an idea. Um, when you register for free, you get five full unlocked profiles in your files folder, which is up here in that files icon uh, that you can really, you know, take as long as you want. It's full access for however long you're on our site. Um, so in an indefinite period of time, you can actually read the full essays. You can look at what's included in each of the profiles that we've selected that we believe are pretty representative of profiles on our site. But if you want more, if you want to search for profiles that you're interested in at the schools you want to apply to, then um, what we offer are uh, our basic plan here, five profiles for $60. Uh, it allows you to unlock any five profiles on our site, access for one full year. Uh, what it does not include are data insights. It doesn't include the advanced search filters. Um, so you can do basic searches like GPA, SAT, ACT score ranges, but you won't be able to search by, um, you know, most recent application cycle or the enrolled um, feature that I had shown earlier. Um, any of our class year plans, however, are premium plans that give you full access. So if you click on this card, you'll see what exactly you get, all the advanced premium filters. Um, the class of 2020 uh, plan is for current seniors, and it allows you to purchase at any time of the year you want for access through your graduation date, which is um, set for end of June of whatever class year you're part of. So for class of 2020, it expires June 2020. As a junior, sophomore, or freshman, you get more unlocks um, and you get more uh, a longer length of time for you to continue to access the profiles that you've unlocked. So for class of 2021, your access expires in June of 2021 and so on and so forth. So hopefully that gives you a good idea of how to use the site. And if you have any other questions, you can always reach out to us via our contact form or go to our frequently asked questions page to learn more. Thanks so much for watching this tutorial and we wish you the best of luck on your college journey.